Hello and welcome again. The IB Biology exam for May 2023. It's happening on the 17th and 18th of May. This year, for the first time since November 2019, three papers are back. The full format of the examination has returned. And that means you'll be sitting for papers one, two, and three. But this year, there are going to be some differences to what we've had in 2019. Paper one and three are going to be lumped together on the first day of examinations. And paper two will follow on the very next day. When those papers happen is also going to be different depending upon which part of the world you're located in. This time around, the IB has designated three time zones, A, B, and C. Time zone A includes countries in Asia, like India and China. It also includes Australia. It also includes New Zealand. Time zone B includes Europe, the Middle East, Africa, and time zone C, the Americas. So it all depends on what part of the world you're in that would tell you what time your exam is going to be. But all exams for paper one and three are going to be happening on the 17th of May, Wednesday the 17th of May. And it's going to be in the afternoon for time zones A and C. So if you're in San Francisco, it's going to be in the afternoon. If you're in Shanghai, it's going to be in the afternoon. If you're in Bangalore, if you're in Delhi, if you're in Sydney, it's going to be in the afternoon. But if you're in London, and if you are in Dubai, and if you're in South Africa, your exam will be in the morning, because you will be in time zone B. You'll be taking papers one and three on that day. On the very next day in the morning, if you're in A and C, you'll have paper two. And if you're in B, you'll also have paper two in the morning. So the big difference is on the first day when A and C have got the papers in the afternoon and B has got it in the morning. So let's go in and take a closer look at some of the details and some tips for this year's exam. So let's review the three zones. Time zone A, the exam Paper one and three in the afternoon and paper two in the morning on the 18th of May. For time zone B, which includes Europe, the Middle East and Africa, you will have your paper one and three in the morning on the 17th and your paper two also in the morning on the 18th. Zone C will be in the same time slot as zone A, afternoon on the 17th for paper one and three, morning on the 18th for paper two. So these three papers are going to be back for the first time since November 2019 and HL students, you will have 40 multiple choice questions to start off in paper one. One hour to do this, that's 20% of the total grade. SL, you'll have 30 multiple choice questions. 45 minutes to do that, that's 20% of the total grade. Paper 3 is highlighted in yellow because it follows from paper 1 on the first day of exams. And in paper 3, you'll have section A where you have to do all questions and then any one of your four options, A, B, C and D, you'll answer all questions from a single option that makes up 24% of your grade if you are in HL and 20% if you are in SL. The next day you come for paper two in the morning in all groups and two hours and 15 minutes for HL students. Section A, you'll answer all questions. There is a data-based question in section A and it's important to get some rest because you know that data-based question is going to be based on unfamiliar material. And the tip I have for you about that data-based question is that it's broken up into parts in that you'll get about three or four sections of data 
And at the end of every section of data, the questions that follow are based solely on the data that preceded that. Only at the very end, after all the data is shared, you'll expect one or two questions that require you to synthesize all of the data given. And being aware of that is a very useful tip in going about the database question. This takes up about 25% of the total marks in both SL and HL. It's the first question of section A. Then the rest of section A will follow with some short questions on things like genetics, uh, the structure of the heart, nerve impulse transmission, perhaps uh, classifying an organism. And then you come to the very important section B, where HL students, you'll have to choose two questions out of a choice of three. And SL students, you'll choose one question out of a choice of two. People tend to refer to these as essays, but really they're not. They're questions made up of multiple parts, and it's okay to write your answer in bullet points. Once your communication is very explicit and very clear, you will stand to gain from that one extra mark for communication, basically making sure that the examiner can find all of your marking points uh, very easily. So this is not really to be seen as an essay like um, in some other subjects like group three and of course in, in language. In paper three, because paper three is returning for the first time since 2019, and in paper three, section A is very much based on seven prescribed practicals for HL and six prescribed practicals for SL. In the link below this video and on some of the cards, I'll be sharing some playlists uh, to all of the prescribed practicals, and that would certainly be very useful for you to review in preparation for paper three. And then I have here a list of some topics that I believe you could focus on as you head up to the exam, starting first with this list of SL topics, and then for HL only, this list here. Something that people always want to know about, the IB has declared that it would like to return in May 23 to the boundaries it had in May 19. But of course, those boundaries can only be determined when students attempt the examination. So when you go in and you attempt the examination, if you believe the examination is quite difficult, it's really important to just give your best because you never know where these boundaries are going to end up being. And last November, the boundaries already returned to a very similar place to what it was in time zone 1 and 2 in May 2019. Let's have a look here. For um, HL students here in time zone 1, a 4 was set at 41, and in time zone 2 it was set at 38. And you can see the breakdown for all of the other papers, a 7 going from 77 in one time zone and 79 in another. Um, the boundary for a 7 uh, in 2019 was a bit higher than what it was last November, but the boundary for a 4 was very much around the high 30s, just around 40 to get a 4. So we could expect that the boundary in May will be quite similar to these boundaries, which are very reasonable, actually. And for SL even a bit lower, well, 43 for a 4 in SL, but of course, uh, to pass SL officially, you need to get a 3, so that would be 31. And in the other time zone, time zone 2, it was 35 to get a 4. These boundaries here are actually quite similar to what they were last November. And um, possibly, we could expect in May, to have the boundaries possibly look like an average somewhere between these two time zones. But again, there will be um, three zones this time around and uh, possibly two different exam papers. Good luck to everyone in this year's biology exams.